Welcome to Dirtbags California, your one-stop Harley shop where we specialize in high-end motorcycle builds and possibilities are endless. Let's check it out. We're going to start off with a few models. This model right here is considered a king tail. Large wheels, more proportional, stretched out on a soft tail frame. So this bike right here, fully one-off custom build, and it has a traditional look. White wall, spokes, chrome, two-tone paint job, more traditional, screams Harley, but still that one-off custom build. We have other builds available, like we have the 2.0, which is gonna be a touring frame, stretched out, still has a large wheel to be proportional in the front, but we're gonna go with that sporty, aggressive look. So this bike is completely one-off. We could do multiple different things in different ways with it, but it's gonna be that sporty, aggressive look. And then we have the touring model, all right? This typically comes with a big back set, large front fairing. They come in multiple ways. We could either do a large wheel and draped out rear end or something like this, very sporty and aggressive. We can also do the traditional ones like shown in these clips right here. We're gonna do the white wall classic long drape rear ends with the classic fishtails. And there's just so many models that you can choose from on the touring side. <music> Right now we're in the boneyard guys. These bikes are getting stripped all the way down to the frame, some to the bare frame, where we get them, weld them, rake them, and then send them on to get fitted. Right here in this section of the shop is where the motorcycle gets fitted. So we're gonna get a one-off body. We're gonna have our guys right here in the body shop fit the motorcycle and start to mold everything to make the bike flow from A to B. This is the layout station, guys. So this is gonna be going to the next direction where the motorcycle's gonna be going. There's gonna be a two-tone paint job, a solid paint job, graphics. This is where it gets laid out. Paint room, all right? So all the graphics that get laid out inside of our layout room get set up over here and all the magic happens. Our last station, guys, where all the stations start working together. Our fabrication area is gonna bring over the frame and front end while our guys start working on the motor. As the paint starts finishing up, pieces start coming along and they start getting installed like you see this one right here. Full turbo setup, one-off frame, one-off pieces throughout the motorcycle. It's a king tail, but it's gonna be the aggressive style. So we have multiple different styles that we can accommodate to you guys. If you're interested in something like this, you guys can see the timely process. So get your orders in and we can make your dream bike come true. <music> Check it out. You guys left 405 comments, and that is outstanding. That is amazing. You guys are everything. Cool to see what everybody's riding. My first bike was a, a mini gas-powered Harley when I was about 10 years old. It was like this big. I'd, I'd be ripping it on the streets, filling up at gas stations, until I got pulled over one day, and they're like, you need a permit for that. They asked me, like, hey, you have a permit? I said, what, what's a permit? I'm 10 years old. And then I had to, I had to retire the bike. Anyways, we're going to pick ourselves a winner right now, so we're going to do this random. We're going to do it randomly, like here. P Money, 4853. You in the building, you, you winning. 2005 Roguelive with a big boy. 100 kit. You got cams, you got MXT bars, two in one pipe, Saddleman C, Power Vision, tuner, black and sick. Sounds like your bike's pretty certified. Anyways, you're gonna have some new gear to wear on that bike because we're gonna send you something. Email us, dirtbagscalifornia at gmail.com. Let us know your shirt size and your shipping address, P Money, and we got something coming your way. We thank you all for participating. I suppose we'll see you next week. Peace be with you. Freedom Thursday, okay? It's 4th of July, okay? And what's better than fireworks on 4th of July? Motorcycles, okay? Freedom Cycle, okay? 
pa 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 pa. Okay? Do you want to see rockets in the air, or do you want to see the rev limiter go? But this bike doesn't do that. It doesn't do that. It doesn't. I don't know how to. We don't know how to do it yet. It doesn't let you do that because it has computers. Whatever. It's almost there. It's got in the pipe right now. It's getting the brake lines. This is look how bad this is. It's like so close, right? It's so close. Oh, it just doesn't reach. It just doesn't reach. Redoing those, putting this in, and then we're gonna start running the audio for this bad boy right here. I don't have zero idea what fits or doesn't fit because I don't think many people have started doing too much in here, so it's gonna be a, a learning curve, okay? I feel like it's, I don't know which way the curves go, but it's gonna, it's, I feel it's gonna take a lot longer than I think. And then we gotta get new bolts so we can push this out to a 13. Huh, like, huh. You go, from, you go from like regular brakes to we're gonna go bigger brakes. What we got going on today is we're getting this uh, bike ready for graphics, getting it all sanded. Jesse's over there having a blast. What you up to, Jesse? Uh, I'm doing my refrigerator doors. I'm gonna paint them blue and I'm gonna do a couple of koi fish on here. It's just gonna go in my garage. I figured I'd do something different. And, I think outside the box or in the box or the ice box. Chopping it up, having a good time, doing what we do and doing what we love to do. Fourth of July, don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive, trust me. I'll tell you, I learned my lesson. Don't do it, it's not worth it. Call an Uber, call your girlfriend, call your friends, call your friends' friends, call your mom. Don't drink and drive, man. Trust me, do not drink and drive. It's a refrigerator. Why are we doing this right now? It's for mine. I'm not gonna be able to get all this done, so. I'm gonna work on this. I got what he's done. He's taking up the room right at lodge. Are you serious right now? I gotta do it. What are you talking about, Jesse? I have to work on this refrigerator today. Nah, you're killing me, bro. We gotta get this bike done. I'll, I'll go do it at my house. Oh my god, bro. There's no way I'm gonna get this bike done. Tomorrow we're not gonna be here. Friday and Saturday we're not here. He didn't even finish, because I was gonna tell him I got next week off. But burn it out now and he's gonna be all baby about it. Come on, Mike. Come on, we were hustling for you, man. Give us, give us a minute. Let us work on our little projects every once in a while. Here at Dirtbags, it's strictly business. And if it ain't business, Mike ain't in it. <laughs> because you got his, his little hair is getting a little warm. He's a little warm over here, so he needs a fan. I'm gonna slow him down. The solder is taking forever. You're not supposed to fan. You're not supposed to solder around the fan. Well, the, the recipe the tool for is off. The tool recipe is off. for Mr. Slug, right here. Be wasting on the butane. Definitely wasting it with a fan blowing on it. Thirty, 30 seconds. Like 30. It would have been 25 without the fan. <laughs> again we're about to go pick up Todd's bike I um, cannot wait to see this Todd can't wait to see this they are prolonged his delivery from this week to next week because we want to make it perfect of course I want to get paid of course he wants his bike I will not let it go unless it meets my standards and it did it this happens a lot where I'm just not happy at the end and at that point it's not about making money it's about making the bike perfect you know so we take the extra time spend a couple extra bucks it is what it is but the bike comes out perfect and that's why we keep getting more work and that's, you know the customer not might not be happy not saying in particular Todd himself but anybody in general they won't be happy at this moment because I prolonged their bike a little longer but when I get on the motorcycle all of that frustration goes away they're happy, they're excited, they're pleased. And I met my goal, man, because the bike's gonna be amazing. And that's gonna draw in more work and that's how we continue to grow and that's how we continue to kill the game. We still need to do a few more things to that bike before it goes home, but we're on our road to success. We're getting there, Todd, stay patient with me. testing to see what that pipe would look like and it looks good okay but we're thinking 
we're gonna change the pipe. Okay, this one, maybe it's too short. Maybe it's too short. Yeah, we need to go with a longer pipe. Huh? He wants a longer pipe. Yeah, it's a good looking pipe. So today's a special treat for us. We've got a visitor. A visitor Gil from House of Colors. Um, while we're looking this up, he brought us some sealer, some reducer, some clear, some house activator, base coat, jet black, the best ones that they have. And then they also brought our carrier for our chameleon, which is the celestial white. So this is what's going to be going on in Mikey's 2024 CBO. Really happy that we got support from Gil and I'm going to make a good bike out of this one. So we want to thank you Gil for everything and you know, always for the support that you've been giving us. So. Yeah, this, this bike's going to be really exciting for all of us. Having the House of Color product on it from start to finish is really going to give it not just a unique look, but a very durable and a long lasting performance in it. We're talking about applying it from the ground up from our epoxy urethane KD3000. It's a, it's a hybrid uh, epoxy urethane primer sealer. We're going to go into some of our jet black. Uh, our jet black is one of the jettest blackest uh, factory pack colors you can find right now in the market. So the whole bike will be painted jet black. And then we're going to go into this very unique custom made color specifically for dirt bags. I think Mikey's still going through some names on this, so it'll be a unique one when it comes out. But a very cool looking flop here on the color, as you can tell, a very unique. Um, and that's gonna go on the bike as well. And then finish it off with our UC22, a very high solid uh, clear coat that's uh, gonna give it a, a really nice gloss. And as I mentioned, performance wise, it's gonna make this bike stand out. 90% of the paint that we use when it comes to custom colors is house of colors. Um, they have a wide range of flakes to pearls to base coats that are unique to this industry. So this is if you're ever looking for something with custom colors or something unique, you definitely want to look at a, a house of colors. Shit, we got a full kickstand right here. Look at that. Yeah, the lights, the lights are sitting right here. The grills are getting built, all right? And then I'm gonna need the lights doing the other ones first to relax the ass. All right, Spike, ain't nobody scared of you. Get your ass to work, you ain't even off till 3.30. What you texting me for? All right, what you texting me for? That's how I motivate Spike, antagonize him. Tell him he's slow, because he is, and he needs to step it up. Said in that video, it's bothering me when he should be working. That's how you do it. They motivate friends over here at your backs. Doing the doors of my refrigerator, Mike is not happy about this at all, but I am. I like the colors, and um, it's coming out amazing. So I should have a lot of it done today and then we're gonna just kinda of go from there. But we bang out these paint jobs for all these bikes. I felt like I needed something special for myself. Here we are, this is, this is the beginning of a, a masterpiece, so. Man, we right here at Dirt Bags. I'm working on my 1977 Electric Lodge shovel head, getting it ready for the homecoming, Willie G. HD. We're presenting our new and improved kickstand built out of aluminum. The thing is amazing, super sleek, low profile, and durable. Eliminating all causes of error, actuators out the door. You ever leave your kickstand down and break it? No more. This kickstand is amazing, guys. It's coming to a hood near you. We're gonna be putting this on the website next week and then shipping out two weeks, all right? We're gonna be having black anodized available right off the rip, and eventually we're gonna be presenting chrome. So stay tuned, guys. Cannot wait to get this in your hands. Check that stamp out. Super proud, man. Stay tuned. <laughs> As you guys can see, the progress on Todd's bike is coming out amazing. 
this Texas motorcycle is going to break the mold when it comes out. Full turbo system, paint is flawless with a 26 in the front, 21 by five and a half with our air ride system and tons of custom pieces. Has that jockey shifter. We're gonna do something for this guy can hold on because it's gonna be insane. Make sure you guys are tuning in next week on this one because we are not stopping until it's done. by Mikey Moto, rocking that new Moto gear right here, coming to a hood near you. Make sure you guys are tapping in and waiting for it. You know we gotta give a giveaway, guys. So, all you guys do is comment below. Tell me where you guys want me to go try out next on that food review, guys. I'll see you next week. Thanks for tapping in. Much love and happy 4th of July, guys. Mm -hmm.